Monday morning we are back in the car we are back in the car because we are still recovering from the hurricane and my power is currently out at my house and the lighting is better out here um it's the third time today the power has gone off and on and off and on they are still about a week shy of a month later still trying to get our power lines and poles fixed. Um, it's going to be a long time before we are back up to 100% from this hurricane. We still have no ETA on most people's home internet, mine included. I had to, well, my husband and I went out and um, purchased an alternative internet source because anything that was like fiber or aerial lines, like from a phone company or an internet company, is not working. So you have to go like satellite or um, cell tower or something like that. So we went out and I am finally able to work from home again now, which right behind Hurricane Helene came Hurricane Milton. That in the area that that hit was one of my major areas at work that I work. Work has been hell for the last week. I digress. That's not what I'm here. I'm here to talk about Rachel Moore's Us in Ruins because I have not done a book review for you guys in a while. And I did read that book this week. And I really, really enjoyed it. It's a five star plus read for me. But I am in a season of struggling right now, you guys, because of everything going on around me. And yeah, I just... I'm going to do the book review, but I'm going to chat for a minute. Um, I do have a new haircut, if you can't tell. Cut about four and a half, five inches off of the length of my hair. Absolutely love it. I am so angry at myself that I hung on to my hair for that long. It needed to be cut years ago. It had been about four years since I'd had a haircut. But for whatever reason, I was holding on to that length. I was holding on to it. I didn't want to cut it. I chopped that junk off so fast today. And I have never been happier about that. I also got myself a little treaty treat. Well, I've gotten myself a few little treaty treats here lately. But this one is super adorable. It is one of those little just Walmart tumbler cups. It's got pumpkins on it. I love it so much. It's the simple things. It's five dollars. But right now I am embracing all of the simple things because the hard things are hardened right now. But we're gonna review Rachel Moore's Us in Ruins. And I absolutely loved it. Like I said, it was a five star plus read for me. If you like um Indiana Jones trying to think, Tomb Raider, any, oh, The Mummy, any of those archaeology type based movies, um, but, and are okay with YA, because it is very YA. Um, I highly, highly recommend this book. It deals with a girl named Margot, who is, I believe, like a senior in high school, and she is on an archaeology trip um, they are searching for Pompeii and things of that nature. She's from the U.S., but she has flown to Italy in the Pompeii area. And she is looking for the vase of Venus. It's like this vase that's supposed to give you love, like unimaginable love. You're just supposed to make you super, super lovable and everybody will love you. And Margot's having a lot of self-doubt issues. She comes from a divorced parents recently. And she just is craving that love feeling. She also has with her a diary that she found from a young man named Van in the 1930s. Who supposedly found this vase of Venus and then disappeared. 
Nobody ever saw him again. He fell off the face of the planet. They believe he was crushed in a um, cave-in, like an archaeological cave-in. Um, and so Margot is dealing with some very petty classmates that are making her feel like she doesn't belong on this trip. She's also trying to do her research on her own, sneaking off, and she finds this statue, and she realizes that this statue looks a hell of a lot like the photo she has of Van from his diary. And she has a shard to the vase of Venus, just one, and she brings it near the statue because it's in her backpack, and the statue comes to life, and it is Van. Because back in the 1930s, he had tried to take the vase when he found it, and the vase turned him into a statue. So now he is unstatued, and they are looking for the rest of the shards of the vase to put it back together and win this reward. She wants this reward of, there's a word for it, but it's just like uncomprehensible amounts of love from everyone. And he wants the treasure of gold because he wants to be wealthy and well off. And um, it's just a really fun story. Lots of trials from different um, characters in the book. And I just really, really enjoyed it. Action, adventure, young love. Um, the spiciest it gets is a kiss because it is, like I said, YA. But I flew through it. I read it so fast and gave it five star plus. It is really fun, really cute. It will have you giggling and kicking your little feet. Um, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. If you like YA, read this book. It was exactly what I needed last week to get my mind off of everything and um, just kind of escape for a little bit. But yeah, that was a five star plus read for me. And I have not had one of those in a little bit. I think the last one I had was God of the Woods, but I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so go read it for sure. That's really all I have today. I wanted to do this review of um, Us in Ruins for you guys. I meant to bring the book out here because it's absolutely gorgeous. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. I will put the the cover of the book in the thumbnail because I want you all to see the cover. I left it in the house. I'm not going up the hill again to the house to grab the book. Um, I'll just put a picture of it in the thumbnail so you guys can see the absolutely beautiful cover of this book. Um, it's why I purchased it. I did. I've never read a Liz um, Rachel Moore. Sorry, God of the Woods is by a Liz Moore. This is Rachel Moore. Both five star plus reads for me. Um, but so I've never read a Rachel Moore book before, didn't know what it was going to be about. So I bought it strictly because of the cover. And I'm really, really glad that I did because it was really good. And the cover is beautiful on my shelf. So yeah, read Us in Ruins. Keep praying for us who are affected by these hurricanes. It has been a struggle. And I will probably not see you guys until next week. We have a What I Read in October coming up. It's going to be a light one for me. I'll be lucky to break 10 books this month. Just from going into the office when I couldn't do the internet and no power. And it has been a very light reading month. But I did read at least 10 books and I'm excited to tell you about them. So I love you guys so, so much. I thank you for watching, subscribing, sharing, all of that. And have an awesome, awesome rest of your week. Bye.